Welcome to Everydex. Today's topic is very important for every developer, including Power BI developer. As a Power BI developer, you should know how to keep the control of your workflow. You actually cannot rely on file final, file final one, file final three, file final four. It happened to you too, right? Just let's talk honestly. <laughs> um, here, I'm here to confess to you. I used to do the same. I used to create final one, final three, final four until I have discovered the world of Git. Git is a version control where you're actually staging your project, you're actually testing your project, and you are in the end de deploying your project. I strongly recommend you to have your Git repository and keep your projects in the Git. Why? First of all, because it's professional and this way you're showing the recruiter that you know how to develop uh, in an end-to-end -end project and how to use the Git. Hello, now we are in the practical part of the topic that I've discussed before, how to create the repository for your Power BI project and how to keep it up to date and uh, in order to look professional, not to look professional, but also for be, uh, being a professional, because if you're a professional developer, you actually need to know how to use Git kinda, because it's today it's extremely important to know the, how to use Git. Well, for example, let's imagine that you have done a huge uh, improvement to your project and uh, you actually don't want to, I don't know, let's say that you have created the uh, timeline, all right? It's not that huge anyways, but still. So, and... But not anymore. I'm not doing it anymore because now I'm using Git. What is Git? Git is a version control which helps you to keep your versions under control and go back whenever you need to the previous version. All right, so this is the website where you can download it. So you download the, if you're using the um, Windows, you download for Windows. If you're using Mac for Mac, but if you're a Power BI user, so you usually use uh, Windows, right? Then what you do once you have installed it, you go to your um, folder and in your folder, you're actually cloning your Power BI repository and your repository is in your GitHub for now. This is something that you can find on internet. If you have some difficulties, you can drop a comment. So I, I, I can help you with all of this, but now the topic is not this. Now this topic is to show you how I'm keeping the control of the versions of my uh, reports, of my dashboards that I'm developing. So here I'm, it's, Imagine that you are not the pro Power BI Pro user, you are a Power BI desktop user, but still you want to show your projects, you want to keep your pro professionality in your project development. So you don't have that much tools that you otherwise could have with Fabric or Azure or whatever it is. So you are not paying anything, but you still need to have the organized system. This is the way how you do that. Now, once we have we did that uh, change here, we are saving this. Control S, we are saving it. Okay. Then we we're gonna see that this file has been saved on date uh, now, All right? And uh, we're gonna open the Git Bash here. Git Bash. 
or you can also use uh, GUI it's gonna give you a different uh, 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 interface where you can actually use uh, and you see they modified for the stage and and so on and so forth but I'm not using this so I, I don't know what to say about this anyways I recommend you to use git bash because it's always useful to use it uh, it might happen that you are not always using this uh, local machine but you're working in different uh, platform like Databricks or whatever it is and it's always a good practice to know the, how to use it so you check the status you write git stat status and you see that the, there's something modified that but ha hasn't been hasn't been staged for commit yet so that's why you, you do the git add dot that means everything now if you check it we are gonna have a status that says that oh my god that to that says that it's for the uh, stage and it's it's about it's, it's ready to be committed and you do the git commit and uh, you're gonna write m and the new graph added um you don't need to add date or whatever it is then you do the git push and you need to add any date anything else because whatever you are just writing here pushing to your github uh then when you go to your github you're actually seeing the all the details of this let's see the uh, commits on 4th august so if we are doing different uh, days and we're gonna have different uh, days and different uh, commit and so on there are actions you can actually go to the actions and see the different actions here and uh, these commits by the way where you're finding if you go to your repository and in your repository if you click here uh, sorry not here if you click here five commits you are going to see all the commits that you did. And whenever you need to, for example, if you have mistakenly added something or they ask you to remove something or do something else, you always can go back to the previous version, let's say where, where, where I have created a pivot table. And by taking this uh, code, you can do revert to the previous commit so it's gonna be probably the topic of the one of the next videos if you ask me to do that but now uh, i wanted to make sure to show you how i'm working and feel free to leave your comments feel free to write your best practices that you know how how to keep your uh, workflow organized and uh, don't forget to subscribe your uh motivating me with each subscription and uh, see you next time bye